I'm using AliExpress for years and somehow I got scammed. I bought a drone for $30 and um, let me just show you. So guys, as you can see here on this page, this is advertised as the Xiaomi Mijia. But there is nothing Xiaomi about this drone. If you can scroll here and see all of the reviews, you would actually see that there are quite nice reviews on this drone. With pictures and example pictures of the drone as well. Well, let me tell you, these are fake. But if you dig deeper, you're gonna find the real ones. Alright guys, so as you can see here the presentation is quite nice, you get a really nice box to carry your drone with and uh, a lot of uh, additional things like additional batteries, additional propellers and even a small little screwdriver but once you grab the drone or the remote in, in your hand it feels like it's just super cheap plastics. So this should be a removable cover where you can install the obstacle avoidance uh, that weighs around uh, 2 grams and looks like there's absolutely nothing inside of it and I'm pretty sure that it's just a gimmick. But hey, you have 5 way obstacle avoidance that you attach to the drone and it looks pretty legit. It weighs less than some smartphones at 123 grams. Before going outside I decided to test it inside as well. But hey, even my cat knew that something smells fishy here. Okay, 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 stop, stop. I just wanted to apologize that my apartment looks like shit. I'm kind of moving into a new place soon. So yeah, back to the video. And now it's time to see how the drone is gonna behave outside. Um, this doesn't seem like 8K to me, or even 4K. Huh, very interesting. You know, this drone doesn't have any sorts of stabilization whatsoever. But the interesting thing is that this is actually a full HD video. Yeah, yeah, doesn't look like that, but this is a full HD video and here's a picture to prove it from the file's details. The 20 frames per second actually explain why this video looks so choppy and unusable, but hey, it's there. And if you thought that the photo quality is better, well, not really. It's usable a little bit, but uh, I wouldn't recommend this drone for anyone who uh, needs a good camera drone. This is definitely not for you. To be honest, it's more of a toy. Um, it also loses the connection with the remote control and my phone after around 100 meters and all it does is start spinning as you can see here. Then after a little bit of time it lands uh, on its own on the ground and uh, if you're lucky it would land on grass, you know. Now I wouldn't recommend this drone to anyone but I have some few budget alternatives that I will link down in the description below and stay tuned for my new videos as I will be uh, making a review of a really good drone soon. Anyway, if you have enjoyed my video please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.